Are you in the club? Hey everybody, it's Amy Jo from DCTC and today we're gonna make some adorable characters out of pom-poms. How adorable you ask? Pretty adorable. Okay, so full disclosure. I'm saying that they're gonna be super adorable but the truth is I don't really know because I haven't made any yet. But look. Hmm? Pretty cute. And so, I don't know. Let's just take, take a quick look through the book. Look at the pig! The pig is so cute. You guys, we're gonna start with a pig and we're gonna make our own Peppa Pig. Mm hmm. Oh, yes, please make one of me. <laughs> okay, I have my little Peppa Pig for inspiration. And this book, so these are really cute. There's a whole series of these and I have several. So this is what we get and this is what we need. A fork, a comb, scissors, and fingernail clippers. Let's open it up and get our supplies out. <gasps> Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different colors of yarn. Glue, pom-poms and eyes, a measuring tape, some wire, and then these are our little cutouts and they'll be the embellishments like the ears and maybe the nose and things like that. To make our little Peppa Pig, the first thing that we need to do is use our measuring tape to cut yarn. So to make a mini pom-pom, which is just a basic small baby pom-pom, we need one piece that is 12 inches long and we need one piece that is four yards long. Now one yard is 36 inches. So we need a piece of yarn that is four times this long. So depending on how old you are, you might need a little bit of help with this project. Okay, so that is four yards. Now we are ready to make our pom-pom. So we're gonna start by taking the 12 inch piece of yarn and placing that through the tines of the fork, just like this. Then this is our long piece and I just wrapped it up so that it would be neat and tidy for the video. <laughs> you don't have to do that. So we're gonna hold that and start wrapping it. Take the, let's see, I'm just gonna use the scissors to weave this through. So you want to weave that end under some of the other pieces of yarn. <laughs> this is kind of tricky. There we go. Then take our 12 inch piece of yarn and we're going to tie this in a tight knot. up with a little ball and the next thing that we do is take our scissors and cut around the edge and this makes our little pom-pom whoa this is 
so cute. <laughs> a little trimming and a little fluffing. And we're gonna have a teeny tiny pink <laughs> pom pom. There it is, the beginning of Peppa Pig. Now to finish our little pig, we need a nose and some ears. We also need the glue, the little blush marker, and some eyes. The directions say to make the most adorable pig, we need to start by gluing on the nose. So here's our Peppa. Peppa has a very prominent nose. So let's see. Let's see where we want our face to be. How about right here? So we'll put our nose right in the center like this. Next, we'll add our eyes. And now the ears. use the little marker to give Peppa some rosy cheeks. And last, but certainly not least, we need a little curly tail. your little tail on the back. Next, I'm going to make a little Nemo and we're gonna make a little Nemo habitat. So we'll start with our pom-pom of course. much easier if I had someone to help me tie this knot. I think I get it super, super, super tight. Okay, remember what comes next? We have to cut all these little pieces. have to shape it into a little ball and then trim away all of the extra. This kind of looks like some sort of a sea creature already. <laughs> like a squid. Not an octopus because only two legs. How many legs do squids have? Or how many legs does a squid have? <laughs> 
It's not perfectly round, but that's okay. Just keep trimming. That sounds like what Dory says. Just keep swimming. I'll just keep trimming. <laughs> All right, I think that's pretty good. We have to sneak some white yarn in here because you know, Nemo has the little white spot. So I'm gonna tuck some in. I probably should have done that already, but I kind of forgot. Let's see, how can we do that? Hmm, I'm going to have to ponder that for a moment. Oh boy, Zumi and Lola just walked in. Have you guys ever seen Lola? Lola's the kitty cat. Let's see if I can get her. Come here, Lola. Come here. Come here. She's really big, kind of ornery. That was it. Where's Zumi? Zoomer. I'm just right in the middle of a video. The, the dogs don't care. I mean, the animals don't care. So there's a dog and a cat on my recording table right now. Hey, there's a kitty cat. <sighs> I wish you guys could see what I'm seeing right now. So Lola is right next to Zoomer. And Lola doesn't really like dogs all that much. Oh, they're face to face, it's so cute. Lola, come here. I want you guys to see Lola. Come here. Oh, see how big she is? Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. She doesn't want to be in the video. I was able to add the white by basically just kind of pressing down a few white pieces of yarn mixed in with the orange. So now we can just glue in the tail and the fins and a little smile. And, and this is the picture that I'm gonna use as my guide. totally makes it look like a fish. And now we need eyes and a smile. This is gonna be cute. habitat for Nemo that I told you about. Pretty cute, huh? So they have just a mason jar with some rocks down in the bottom. But we're gonna do something a little different. So I have a regular glass and some Orbeez and I'll just pour those in like that. And set our cute little fishy right down in the glass. <laughs> like that. Isn't that cute? Here's a close look at our little fishy. So it might not look exactly like Nemo, but I think it looks pretty close. <laughs> I love his little smile. Okay, what else do we have? Here is our Peppa Pig. This one is so cute, I love it. And I have a couple of surprises. I made this cute little bear. So I gave him some little hands, see that? And ears, and look at his cute little heart nose. And, this is my branch inspired <laughs> pom pom. So, have you guys seen the Trolls movie? So, here's Branch and I I think it's I think it's not so bad, right? So it's not perfect, but here's his little crazy troll hair and nose and these are supposed to be his ears. 
<laughs> I wanted to make Poppy, but I didn't have enough pink yarn. So maybe I can do that next time. Okay guys, well, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I'd love for you to leave me a comment and tell me <laughs> your favorite little pom-pom critter that we made. Mine is our version of Peppa Pig. Ah! Zoomy's trying to eat it. <laughs> no, girl. Okay, guys, I'll see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.